I'm literally kneeling on the floor right now because we've got a ton and a huge amount of gear that we're going to unbox. And I'm going on a few trips in the next couple of weeks to really test out these gear from Horizon Studios. We're going to unbox these a little bit later on. 13. We've literally got 13 pieces. Let's stack these for now. Okay. Oof. Oh, wow, wow. This luggage protector, super wide. The H7 looks absolutely stunning. Wow, really solid. Matching for the luggage handles. Japanese Hinamoto Jewel. Castor wheels, contrasting colors, part of the re-series. TSA lock. The handles, that luggage tag. Nice details on the luggage itself. All right, next up. This is the re-series in the matching dark olive. So essentially the H7 shrunken down and maybe a few tweaks here and there. But we've also got the H5 essential out of the boxes. That is the M5 version. And below is the H5, H7 edition. And pretty much the same box and package for the larger check-in. Both of them come in this really high quality, beautiful luggage cover. Ooh. That is one. Oh my God. Three, oh, oh wow, that looks incredible, <laughs> absolutely insane. They honestly look so good, bar all of the practical sense of getting a white luggage. When it comes to aesthetics, this thing absolutely pops. Wow, this white, insane. Now, as a carry-on, you could probably be a bit more forgiving the all-white version for the H7 check-in. I think that would be absolutely impossible. But for carry-on, it's not unreasonable to take care of this and kind of maintain this look. Got that Horizon Studio handle, debossed in. Also, the white handle, very solid. It's kind of thin, flat, and rounded. But Horizon Studios on the top. Instead of a contrast, we've got a blended white trim in the middle, even color matching zippers as well. H5 in that dark olive, really beautiful. And I really like these contrasting trims, just gives it a bit more two-tone and adjust size comparisons, level handles as well. Easy to take these with you. So there you have it. These are the Horizon Studio Luggage H5, H7 series. We're now gonna dive over to the table. So, shall we? Okay. There's a lot for us to get through here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and four little boxes. Sheesh. Gion or Gion backpack. This is the medium size and a blue Vega, Horizon Studios. Oh, nice. Another backpack cover like the luggage that we had. Just a way that you can care for your backpacks and when you're not using it and it's kind of in your wardrobe, kind of like your clothes, you want to keep it in protective layers. Yeah. Oh, look at that. This is the Blue Vega Gion backpack. It's kind of a mix between a baby blue, a lavender. Love this smooth, like water repellent surface, textured shoulder strap, really thick padding on these. Even got metal adjusters too. Nice mesh ventilation panel just there. Arguably one of the nicest luggage pass-throughs as well. And it's actually elasticated. No sternum strap, no waist strap. Look. One pocket up here. Nice zipper. 
Horizon Studio sort of edged on that. And you can also just roll down this front flap. We've got one more pocket here. Oh, two mesh pockets, really nice and flexible. And you've got an additional zipper inside of this admin panel towards the back, really cool. Absolutely love this blue Vega, like look at that. So we've got the Gion Crossbody Bag M, dark olive. Let's go further. Ooh, could have a lot of these covers. And this is the Gion Crossbody. Oh, wow. Dark olive really growing on me. And so this is a matching Gion crossbody. It's part of the same series. Got that same smooth waterproof material. This is a nice crossbody size. Ooh, we've got a hidden pocket. Matching dark olive. That hidden zipper and just the extra lip gives it a bit more protection from the elements. Jaw zippers, always gotta love it on a crossbody. Means you're not fighting or remembering which side the zippers are. Extra stuffing as well. Now in its flattest state, and it's actually really slim. Also got nice reversed weather sealed zippers. Spacious enough and also fairly deep, which helps you really stack or just pack a little bit extra. Two mesh drop pockets. Really heavy duty connected directly to the inside. And I could probably put my phone inside the back. So far, so good. And we've just got these simple buckles. Really heavy duty. So Gion crossbody in that dark olive, really nice companion. We've got the Koenji laptop case, 13 inch. Also in that blue Vega. And this is a laptop sleeve. Now I don't have a MacBook, but I'm hoping my 14 inch will fit in this. Or oh, even this comes in its own protective case. Horizon Studios, let's go further on both sides. Nice. And since I know what Blue Vega looks like, oh, this is nice. Very different textile. It's got more of a reflective finish. Same trim on the backpack as well, the Geon backpack in that Blue Vega. This is the Koenji, but they kind of make it a little bit uniform across the different series. You can see that there. Same with those zippers. Also the zip track. Oh, wow, they killed this. Look at that. I love that Blue Vega trim here. And it's not just a divider. Also on the front side, it's super slick. More on the firm side, not that cushy, but should give it some extra impact protection. Metal zippers, it's reverse. It's not weather sealed or glossy finished like on the backpack and crossbody. This is the front lid panel. We've got two pockets, one here, one here. And then on this side, we've got the divider with that pleasant blue Vega trim. It took a gamble. Ooh. That is actually perfect. It literally just slid right in. Oh, look at that. Asus ROG G14 2021 edition is a lot slimmer these days, but it still fits in the Koenji. Oh, just a little bit snug towards the top, but just fits. One of my hard drives. Sweet, you can even put like a travel wallet. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's also a dedicated laptop compartment towards the back. So you have two sections. You've got one for the front, one for the laptop. I could even put the Koenji inside the laptop section. And that's actually really nice. Actually much more impressed than I expect to be for a laptop case. There's not so much that they can do, but this is actually reasonably priced, really high quality. Love the colors on this thing. Well done Horizon. Just a quick second of your time. If you're enjoying this video so far, do give it a big thumbs up. Really supports the channel and helps me out to know what you like in future videos. Right, back to the unboxing. We've got the Gion crossbody bag, but this time small. So we had the crossbody medium. This is the smaller version, quite a bit smaller as well. And we've just got it in two colors. We've got the dark olive and the blue Vega, kind of a theme that you can see running. Let's see how these fare. 
Beautiful. So far, I really love the quality of these things. And these are the small, cute, protective covers they come in. Hey, look at this cutie. The Blue Vega here. Oh, we've got the Gian crossbody here. So this buckle in the middle, we can either sling it on the left hook or the right hook. Teeth marks. You can see the visible teeth rather than reverse on the others. Good enough for a phone, maybe a, a wallet and notepad, hand sanitizer. Let's see what we can fit. My phone, nothing phone two sits perfectly in there. And let's say I'll put my wireless earbuds in here. There you go. Those two, your travel wallet. I'll just flesh this out what it looks like when it's completely decked out. Normally you think they just kind of reduce the dimensions, but there's actually a very functional differences between them. The Gion crossbody small is literally like a phone sling. Waterproof to an extent, the zippers aren't, but again, if you're caught out, this is more than enough for everyday situations. And you can actually pack some nice essentials in here. Love the colors. Those are the Gion crossbody small. I left this one until last because this is actually the Gion backpack. Whereas the Blue Vega was a medium, this is actually a small. And what color is it? You guessed it, a dark olive. I honestly love the packaging. The Gion backpack small. This small, mm, the wrappings. Oh, oh, okay. So this one actually had some cardboard, pretty much the same as the Blue Vega version, just in a smaller size. The medium size feels great as an all day, but I do love day packs that just feel a little bit more compact, agile and slim. You literally get the same experience just choosing which size you prefer. More of a, an olive mesh ventilation rather than just a standard black. Also a deeper look at that rear admin panel. Nice and accessible, two additional mesh pockets and that zipper pocket. Whether the 13 inch Koenji will also fit the day pack version. Yes, it does. It fits nicely. The main backpack is really well built and nice structure, but it can easily fold in itself and can even drop the Koenji in there as well. Quite lean on the padding here, but more than enough to really grab this and go. To complete them, we've got a few small EDC that we're gonna check out. The wallet and the card holder. And here we go. Ooh, oh, wow. Wow, that actually looks really good. Look at this. Super lean. And this is the card holder. And this is the blue Vega with that neon orange. Really clean. Gives it a little bit of an opening to the main section. Really cool. And then Horizon Studio just printed on the front. Probably reinforced texture behind it. Yeah, very nice. So if you want something very minimal, something a bit more vibrant, these ones are nice. Oh, I just caught a quick glimpse of that dark olive again. And we've got that matching dark olive for the small EDC. Very nice, and that neon orange trim. And this will also fit nicely in the Geon Cross body sling. Even of the Koenji laptop case, you can just drop these in there. And let's finish it off with the wallet. Gray lavender. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Super cute. We've got it printed on the front of Horizon Studios. One pocket here. One pocket on the back like the card holder, but this time it's zippered. And inside, get a divider. This zip is a little bit on the small and slim side, so it helps, but I find it sort of snagging. There we go. Ho oh, ho. Dark olive. Really nice against that gray lavender. Gives it a different impression as well. And we've just got the same front and back pockets. Having both with the card holder and the wallet, because these are so low profile and literally easy to just bring together. So we've got the Gion Blue Vega backpack, dark olive small backpack, 
the Koenji laptop case, the Gion crossbody medium, both versions of the Gion crossbody sling small, the card holders and the wallet. Wow. Let's finally deep dive in these carry-ons from Horizon Studios. So first up, we've got the H5 Re-Series 97% recycled hard shell, premium polycarbonate and a lifetime warranty. This weighs 2.9 kilograms, which is actually pretty good or 6.4 pounds and dimensions 55 centimeters high, 40 centimeters width and 20 centimeters depth. Really slick, got some foot paddings on that side and next to the side handle, we have the TSA. And here we have it. We got four zippers on both sides, fairly slim zippers and nice and smooth around the edges. This is actually quite shiny compared to more matte finish liners. Four zippers as well, I find they just really enclose everything nicely. On this side, it's also empty. We get this nice pouch and we've got a very fancy envelope. And it's going to give us all of our information. Let's go further. Full catalog of Horizon Studios extended luggage. That is the H5 Re in Dark Olive. Now moving on, Yes, we have the H5 again, the essential in the all whites. And those wheels contrast again, white and black. And even the TSA lock. Absolutely love it. If you want an all white, this thing is pretty incredible. Ooh, ooh, nice. So again, there's not too much to talk about in the H5 since it's basically the same. Kind of like with the H5 Re, they flip over the color contrasts, fairly shiny interior liner. And on the right side is also fully black. So there's no white trims at all inside here. A luggage tag. Oh, we have a matching white luggage tag. So this will just attach onto the top handle. I'm going to place that. It feels pretty lightweight, I will say. Clip it down. There we go. Sweet. Got it right there. So that is the H5 all white cabin luggage. Finally, we have the H7 Re. Much bigger version, of course. Oh, this is huge i think it's going to be the same fully zipped compartments the zippers are still the same size as the carry-on so i would have liked them to be bigger and we have it on this side that is literally it so this is 77 centimeters tall 52 centimeters wide and 28 centimeters deep or 30.3 inches by 20.5 by 11 inches uh, this weighs 4.7 kilograms, which again is also pretty reasonable, 10.3 pounds, and rated volume is 98 liters. Whew. That was a lot to get through, but super satisfying. The serious challenge is with the H5 all white and whether I can maintain its wideness and pristine looking condition as long as possible. I want to give a big shout out to Horizon Studios partnering on today's video so that we can share what their travel luggage, their backpack and get some mileage. And uh, yeah, which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Read more of my full unboxing and deep dive first impressions at onetechtraveler.com. If you liked anything featured in today's video or you want to explore the rest of Horizon's range, support the channel by using the links down below. I'll put it in the pinned comments and the video description. Thanks a lot for joining me, Team KBA. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. But until then, keep being awesome. Peace.